Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this Belle inspired look for my Disney series. My Disney series is when I take a character and I take inspiration from that character or the movie so to speak and then I just kind of do my own thing. This is the look that I came up for this Belle inspired tutorial. I just did this nice yellow with some shimmery yellow on top and then I added some brown to this look because she does have brown hair and a yellow dress and the movie. So I I feel like this really represents Belle well. <laughs> if you guys want to see how to achieve this look, please continue on into this tutorial. And if you're new, please be sure to hit that subscribe button because I post videos twice a week. And let's get into it. Belle inspired look. I am going to be going into my Modern Renaissance palette for my transition shade in. And as always, I'm going to be using the shade Warm Taupe to set my transition in the crease. And I'm going to be using this Kylie Cosmetics brush and it is very similar to the MAC 210, I believe. So I'm going to go ahead and take that and set that in the crease. And then I'm just going to take my Morphe E30 brush, which is this nice dense blending brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in. So the next shade that we're going to go to is a nice soft yellow. I'm going to be taking my Morphe 35S palette, and I'm just going to be going into this soft yellow shade right here. And I'm going to take my Kylie Cosmetics brush again, just to lay that down. I'm just mainly using these brushes because my other brushes are dirty and I haven't cleaned them yet. But I'm going to be doing a video on cleaning my brushes, so stay tuned for that. So I want to make sure that I get my brush nice and coated with this yellow, just because it is a soft yellow. And I want to build it up to the pigmentation that I want. But I'm gonna go ahead and set this all over my lid. Alright, so once we have that nicely packed in, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the outer corner. So first I'm gonna take warm tote and just set that on the outer third a little bit and then blend in the crease a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go into Cypress Umber right here, and I'm gonna tuck that into the very outer corner. And then we're just gonna go ahead and blend everything together. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and go back into that pale yellow shade that I had used previously. And I'm gonna add some setting spray to it just to bump up the intensity of that pale yellow just a little bit. And I'm just gonna focus this intensity on the center of the lid because we're gonna pack a shimmer on the inner corner. And then for that shimmer shade, I'm just gonna go to my Morphe 35B palette. And I'm just gonna be taking this pale shimmery yellow shade right here. And then I'm just gonna add some Fix Plus to it so that it is nice and pigmented. And we're just gonna put that on the inner corner. And then I'm just gonna go back into Warm Taupe. I'm just gonna darken up the crease a little bit. And then dip back into Cypress Umber and then just touch up the outer corner a little bit more. And then we're just gonna go ahead and go on to the lower lash line. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Warm Taupe and I'm gonna sweep that across. And I'm gonna take that pale yellow and I'm gonna sweep that under the inner lower lash line. And I'm also gonna add this to my transition shade up here. I'm gonna take that shimmer shade and I'm gonna lay this on at the inner corner. And I'm gonna use that as a highlight for the inner corner as well. And then for the last touch, I'm gonna take Cypress Umber and I'm gonna set this on the outer lower lash line. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my eyeliner and lashes off the camera, and then I'll be right back to do the lips for this look. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, so now that I have the lashes and the eyeliner on, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lips. So for the lips, I'm gonna be using the Nude Stick, and this is their Magnetic Matte Lip Color, and this is in the shade Greystone, and it's just this nice, like, rich chocolate brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that to do my lips today. All 
Alright, so this is the final product for this Belle inspired tutorial. I'm not really sure how I'm liking the nude stick. I don't know if it's the formula or what, but the specific formula I'm not digging too much just because it is very like sticky when I put my lips together. Like watch. Like, I don't know, like, it's, like, really sticky, and I'm not used to, like, having to pull my lips together like that. So, I like the shade. I don't like the formula. But I still hope that you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on this Belle-inspired look. And if you want to see more from this Disney series, please be sure to leave a comment down below of which character you would like to see next in my Disney series. And I will go ahead and take inspiration from that character and give you guys that and add it to my Disney series. So, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe subscribing down below should be right there just make sure to go ahead and click it click that subscribe button down below because I do post new videos every Sunday and Wednesday for you guys so make sure that you subscribe so you never miss any of my videos in the future and you guys have an amazing day peace out guys hello guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video I am going to be talking to you guys about the gold sheet masks that have been floating around on YouTube